How to use Dashlane simple tutorial. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use Dashlane, which can help you in simplifying all of your needs to create and manage your accounts with safe passwords, because we all know how important it is to ensure that we have a secure password that we are using. And with Dashlane, it makes it really easy to protect your passwords. And when you are working, you don't want to have to remember, you know, 50 different passwords for 50 different accounts. You have autofilling as well as SSO integration. You also are going to stay ahead of alerts with phishing alerts as well as dark web insights. Then you can also enjoy their enterprise level grade protection. So let's get started with Dashlane. To get started, you're simply going to head on over to dashlane.com and then click on over here to start a business trial. Now you will see that Dashlane actually has different pricing options for different types of users. They have a standard plan for businesses, a business plan and enterprise, but they even have a personal plan. And with the personal plan, you have access to basic password management. And on the premium version, you have things like unlimited passwords, devices, pass keys, dark web protection, secure sharing, and much more. So we're going to go into the personal plan and we're going to try it right now. So over here, you will see that Dashlane has a Chrome extension that you have to download. So by default, Dashlane opens up this Chrome extension for you and you're going to click on add to Chrome, then click on add extension over here. The best part about using Dashlane is that it's a, th that it's a trustable application, you know, that has been around. So from here, you're going to proceed with your sign up. You're going to put in your email address over here, and then you're going to click on next. After that, you can proceed with your Dashlane password. Now, this is really important because your Dashlane password from here on out is going to be the one password you have to remember that is going to give you access to all of your passwords. So you have two options to secure your account. Either you can create a master password or create a device specific pin for streamlined access. I'm going to create a device specific pin like this. So I'll just make it like so and then click on continue and then click on create account. Once we have created our account on Dashlane, we can click on jump into the app. Now, after that, you have to save your recovery key on Dashlane. This is really important because your recovery key serves as your main entry point. So your account stays safe. Make sure to save this somewhere. You can write it down on a piece of paper or you can just memorize it if you want to. But writing it down is usually the best option. And then click on next. Then you're going to enter your recovery key and then click on confirm. Once you do that, this is what your Dashlane account looks like. So on the left, you have a getting started tab. Then over here, you have logins, you have payments, secure notes, and your personal info, IDs, and a sharing center. So over here, you can click on add new and add your website login. So Let's say I have a account over here and I can add the password like this and then click on autofill if I want to auto log in or only autofill on websites added by me. But I'm just going to click on save and just like that, if I open this website up, Dashlane is going to auto log in. But you guys can see that Dashlane is also telling me that I have a password that is good, but it can be made better. So you can set up a 2FA token for super high risk websites. So for things like your credit card info or a really important account, you can add a two factor authenticator for your passwords as well. You can also import data from a previous password keeping tool like Google or any other password keeping tool that you might have used. Now, after that, you can click on payments and then click on add new to add your own credit or debit info. 
This allows you to put in your credit information in an instant without having to go through all of your cards. You can also go into secure notes and add a secure note. And you might say, hey, why do I need a secure note? Well, the reason for that is because a secure note can hold things like your passwords as well as your sensitive information that you might not want to share. So for that purpose, you might want to add notes that are password protected in your Dashlane password manager. Then you also can set up your personal info that can be auto-filled into forms across the web with just a simple click. This is my personal favorite tool to use in conjunction with the simple payments and logins because personal info is something that is always the same that you have to type in on every website and actually makes that easier as well. You can also add your IDs over here for you to securely save your passport and leave your originals at home. Then after that, you will also see a security tool. Your security tool is going to include the password health monitor and a dark web and a dark web monitor. In your password health monitor, you're going to see your password health score. And you can open up your password health and you guys can see that they can make it better. So you can take one of their suggestions and you know choose a new password. Now, one other thing to note is that you will also see any of your compromised passwords and reused passwords that you're using across multiple websites. You also have a dark web monitor and you can try it out and monitor your first email. This allows you instant alert, 24 seven surveillance and much more. So now that we have Dashlane, if I open, open up a new tab and I want to fill in my info, I can just open up Dashlane like so. So for example, I'm on Canva over here and I want to remember my password or add my login info. I can go on into Dashlane and go into the vault and add all of my info, whether it's something from my notes, personal info, ID, login, or payments. I can also go with autofill as well as go ahead and create a new website every time I am signing up to a website. Let's say I only want a password with letters and digits, and I want it to be short or slightly longer, like this. And I can just regenerate it like this to find a password that I like. And just like that, we have created our Dashlane account and we can securely surf the web. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.